the new Lego Atari set is here for us to review. What's up? Welcome back to the Cafe Corner. It's your girl Cece here with another early Lego review. This set has 2,532 pieces and will cost you $240 when it comes out on August 1st. You get three game cartridges, Adventure, Centipede, and Asteroid. Looking at the graphics here, they're actually really, really well done and a direct homage to the original graphics for these games. This one in particular is actually an homage to another set that is coming out this August as well. The Galaxy Explorer, the, the 90th anniversary version, the uh, 10497, I believe, is the set number for that. I'll put it up in the cards because I did a review on it. But these actually get stored in here if you would like. And you can just slip that, boom, right there. And so there are spots for all of them. I feel like this little storage shelf is going to be a very underrated part of this set. But I really appreciate it because I like having a designated spot to put these little things rather than just having them aside. Like, you, you can't really see that. This, it just, it feels like... It really needs to be here, and I'm really glad that they did that. Even look, these pins on the sides make it look like little nails or screws. It's just, ah, this is so good. I really like this part. Mm. Now, each game has a corresponding little 3D scene that you can build along with it. Without these, I feel like this set would have just been awful, to be honest. But with these, and another hidden feature I'll show you coming up later in the video, this really makes this set worth it, at least for consideration to buy, and definitely a nice to have when this set is displayed. The bulk of the set is, of course, the LEGO Atari 2600 itself. I'd say that this is probably the weakest point of the set, aesthetically speaking. From what I can tell, the design of the retro gaming console is pretty realistic and accurate. You have all these little bobs and switches here that, of course, have the reasoning and, I'm sure, match up to the original. You can even take one of the game cartridges and pop it in there so that you can play the game. In the back here, you plug up the joystick, and this is rather realistic as well. You can move this around, and I haven't played with joysticks much, except for like at the arcade, um, but it feels like I'm sure a joystick should. The only unrealistic part is this button here is just a two by two tile that gets placed on top. And although I would like to press this button, you can't. So that's rather unsatisfying. To make up for the rather unrealistic button that does not press, the designers have left us a little surprise hidden within the console. Slide out the front and out pops a little scene of a kid playing an Atari in his 80s room. We'll pop him out and take a closer look. He's got a very cool custom printed Atari shirt torso on. You have the joystick there. Nothing on the back. You got these uh, mid brown pants. Some pretty cool hair. He's Look at his teeth. He's so cute. He's also got an alternate face. Turning his headpiece around, you can see his little alternative shocked face for something. I'm guessing that happens in the game. Maybe he's run out of lives on asteroids or centipede. There's quite a few other little neat details in this room and some that just scream nostalgia. Look at this VHS tape, the posters, this corded phone. I mean, there's no cord, but it definitely looks like the old school phones. And this big booty TV. <laughs> Look at that big juicy booty. I know I can't be the only one that remembers having a TV like this, but for me, it was the 90s, not the 80s. 
I was really excited about building this, but at first I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to connect with it the same way that some of the other builders in the community might, some of the OGs. But now I feel like it really exceeded my expectations. I'm glad they chose to include games like Asteroid and Centipede because I've played those at arcades, so there's a connection there. But I want to know, what was your favorite feature in this set? Is it better than the LEGO NES that we got a while back? Let's discuss in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.